Howdy everyone! The name of our group project is the impact of expertise bias on data visualization, Mars landing site selection. The motivation of our work is to investigate how expertise bias affects people's data exploration behavior and decision making processes. Our system contains four different data visualization techniques and it's geared towards enabling the user to explore the scientific data. Here is the system demo. The task of the experiment is to select a landing site on Mars based on four factors which are temperature, horizontal wind speed, pressure, and solar flux. We designed three experimental conditions which are the control group, expert group, and non-expert group. The control group is the system without the user watching the preplay video. The expert group it is telling the participant that they're watching an expert use the system. The non-expert group, the participants are told that they're watching a video of another student or another non-expert using the system. We had 18 participants, 9 were male, 8 were female. Results show that the non-expert group matched uh, the most closely with the base, baseline data of the pre-video, where about half of them chose the Phoenix lander as the landing site. This may have been because they had seen in the video that Phoenix was chosen and they felt comfortable with others in their peer group. We found out the expert group didn't necessarily follow the same decision as the preplay video. They spent a lot of time analyzing the maps to make their decision. They followed the interaction history of the, the preplay video quite cl closely, but they had their own decisions in the end. Here is a, a heat map of the parallel coordinate plot user interaction history, where the x-axis is the mouse x value and the y-axis is the y value. And here you can clearly see that the expert heat map corresponds with the, the preplay video heat map, whereas the non-expert control group were more sporadic. And the same goes for this heat map of the, the chart data. And the control group and the non-expert are pretty sporadic. The post-questionnaire results of the control group show that they thought the maps were very easy to understand and the parallel coordinate plot wasn't very useful for them. The expert group results so they didn't spend much time planning for other information, but they did think that the masteries understand just like the others. The non-expert group spent a lot of time exploring information that wasn't in the preplay video. The results showed that on average, people's decisions aren't very much influenced by what they've seen an expert or non-expert do. Therefore, their final decisions were mainly based on their own exploration of the data. However, the way that they explored the data was influenced by what they saw in the preplay video, which caused a small amount of bias in the results.